We've been talking with Robert Douglas of Planet Magpie, and he just went over the seven attack vectors, the ways that uh, criminals or cyber hackers can come in and, and take advantage of your the fact that you're dependent on the internet, whether through mobile devices or de uh, desktops or laptops or whatever. Now we're going to talk about the future. We're going to talk about what can we do, how do we protect ourselves, and what's the future going to look like in this business. So, Robert, tell us some practical tips. What can an individual do that will help protect them at home? At home, typically uh, get a firewall. That's the best advice. Most homes run off of, say, a Spectrum modem or you know Comcast or whatever. It's not a true firewall. So purchase a firewall. For a home, you could get an off-the-shelf type of device. We wouldn't recommend that for a business. OK. And small business, what would you do? Where do you get Small that? business, you have to go to real gear. So the, typically, you'd get a Juniper firewall, be a smaller series. Um, and you have a IT consulting firm set that up for you and make sure you're locked up and protected from the outside world. Yeah, there's a cost associated with that, but I, I would imagine your answer to that is it's a lot less it's expensive lot less. Than, than what happens if you get compromised. Yes. Right. Yep. And then for small businesses all the way up through mid-market, I know the big businesses are doing it, we always recommend cyber insurance. It's, it's going to save you when it occurs and it inevitably is going to occur with most companies. Okay. So what do you look for when you're trying to find an IT consultant? What are the kind of things that a small business, large business, yep. what should they be looking for? So typically you should be looking for a company that is not just a desktop company, desktop support. So you're looking for an IT consulting firm. They have company, inside the company they have engineers, they have desktop support guys, right? And you know that they can take care of you. You ask them to design a network for you or do a review of your existing network and with the answers they come back with, you know whether or not you're in their right hands, right? If they come back with a bunch of stuff you could have bought off the shelf at the fries, local fries, you know you need to dump that company. Yeah, you need somebody a little more sophisticated than that. Exactly, because right? the whole that whole setup is what's going to protect you down the road. And then they should put together a plan for you about how you maintain that equipment, how often do you do firmware updates, because you can't just put equipment in and leave it there. Because the exploits keep occurring, right? And they find a way to get through firewalls. So, of course, Juniper and F5 and everybody are always updating their firmware. Yeah. So and if so you it's leave a it, constant war. It's it one is up a war. Yeah. yeah. So where is it all headed? Is this always going to be a race uh, between good and evil? It is. It's, it's going to be. Network security is basically a permanent fixture in every company's line budget. And it, it, it's not going away. So what happens is, we make changes, they make changes. And it's a constant tug of war between who's going to own the network.